Um, let's all meet in a seated position on our mats. If you do want a block or pillow to sit on, you might want to grab that now. And as we find our comfortable seated position, start by rooting through the sits bones and reaching through the head, tall spine, and come to an awareness of your breath. While you're here, maybe set an intention for today's practice. That could be anything from just focusing the time purely on yoga and not being distracted by anything else, to maybe stretching your body or reaching it a little bit further than you normally would. Or maybe your intention is just to listen to your body and let it relax for a moment. And with your intention in mind, let's inhale the arms up to the sky. Interlace the fingers. Exhale, left. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Exhale, slight back bend, looking up towards the sky. Inhale, center. Exhale, reach those hands out in front of you and walk them forward on the mat. Let's walk those fingers over to the right side. And to the left. And finally back to center. And then all the way up to our tall torso. Let's take a few neck circles while we're here. You can move to your own pace, your own breath. and switch directions. And one more. And then we'll come back to stillness. From here, let's place our hands on the mat and swing the legs around into a tabletop position. And we'll start by just rotating the right hand so the fingers are towards you. A little bit of a wrist stretch. The more you pull your weight back towards your hips and towards your toes, the bigger the stretch you'll have here. And we'll flip the hand over. So we're on the back of the hand. 
and release that, maybe shake it out and place it back on the mat. Next, we'll rotate the left hand so the fingers are towards you, finding that stretch. And flip the hand over. Release and maybe shake that hand out before placing it back on the mat. Inhale the right arm up to the sky, opening up the chest. Hold this for just a second. And on the exhale, we'll release the right hand underneath the left arm, walk it through to thread the needle. On the next inhale, we'll reach that right arm back up to the sky. And one more time, thread the needle, walking that right hand under the left arm. And release the right hand back to the mat. Inhale the left arm up to the sky. Holding this for just a moment. And exhale, reach that left hand under the right arm. Walk it through to thread the needle. If you feel like there's a difference in the amount of stretch that you're getting, that's okay. Our bodies aren't always completely symmetrical. Let's inhale that left arm back up to the sky. And exhale under the right arm. On the next inhale, we'll place that left hand back on the left. Let's reach the right foot out behind us, toes on the mat, and just stretch through the heel towards the wall behind you for a calf stretch. Release that right knee to the mat and stretch the left foot out, reaching towards the wall behind you. and release the left foot to the mat. Let's tuck the toes and lift the hips into a downward facing dog. You can walk out that dog if you want, dropping one heel to the mat and then the other. And on the next breath, let's walk the feet up to the hands or a forward fold at the top of our mats. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. And inhale all the way up to mountain. From here, let's spread the legs wide on the mat. We'll inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold. Walk the hands over to the right side. And back to center. Over to the left. From here, we'll rotate the left foot 
So it's reaching towards the front or one end of our mat. And we'll reach the right arm up to the sky, keeping the left hand between your ankle and maybe your knee over here for a triangle pose. On the next breath, we'll rotate that right arm down and that right foot towards the same direction as your left foot. And we'll step the right foot back. So we're in a lunge. On the next inhale, we'll reach the arms and the torso up to the sky for a high lunge. Maybe as you're here, try lifting that back hamstring and see how that affects your hip flexor stretch. And we'll open that up to a warrior two, so opening up the back foot. Inhale, right hand to right leg, left arm to the sky. And exhale back to our warrior two. On the next breath, we'll rotate that left foot back to our wide-legged stance and exhale to a wide-legged forward fold. While you're here, let's place the left hand in the center of the mat. Reach the right arm up to the sky. Exhale the right hand to the mat. And have the left arm up to the sky. And exhale that left hand back to the mat as well. On the next breath, we'll rotate the right foot. So it's pointing towards one end. Reach the right hand down towards that foot and the left arm up to the sky for triangle. On the next breath, we'll rotate. So bringing both those hands towards that right foot, rotating the left foot and bending the right knee into a lunge. And we'll inhale the arms and the torso up to our high lunge. Opening that up to a warrior two. Inhaling the left hand to the left leg, right arm up to the sky. And back to our warrior two. On the next breath, we'll rotate that right foot back to our wide-legged stance and exhale to our fold. And I'll give you guys a second if you want to play around with this pose. You're welcome to bend one knee and then the other. 
or walk your hands to one side and then the other again. Maybe just listen to your body. What needs to be stretched or held in stillness. And wherever you're at, maybe if you need to use the next few moments to balance yourself. So if you stretch one side, make sure to stretch the other. Then we'll come back to stillness, reaching towards the center. Inhale, lifting up. Halfway, exhale, fold, and inhale all the way up to mountain. Exhale your hands to your sides, and we'll step those feet closer together once again. From here, let's inhale the arms up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold and bend your knees, place your hands on the mat. And we'll step back to a downward facing dog. And bending your knees, drop your knees to the mat. Untuck the toes and we'll drop the hips onto the feet, reaching the arms straight out in front of you. For child's pose. Maybe spend this moment to remind yourself of your intention, of your goal for today's practice. If you'd like to make this pose a little more active, you can reach those fingers out just a little bit further. Or if you'd prefer to make it a more passive pose, you're welcome to reach those hands back behind you, resting your forehead on the mat and palms up to the sky. On your next breath, wherever you're at, let's place those hands underneath the shoulders and lift up into a tabletop position. And rotating the legs, swinging them around, we'll come to a seated position on our mats, on our seat bones. And let's just find an easy seat here first. Stretching the spine tall. We'll inhale, hugging the right knee to the chest. And 
and release. We'll hug the left knee to the chest. And release the left leg. We'll bring the bottoms of our feet together in front of us. And you're welcome to hold back around the ankles or the big toes. But first, holding with a tall spine, and lifting the chest, relaxing the knees, letting them fall towards the mat. And then on your next breath, if you'd like to, you can exhale, folding over the feet, over the legs. And as you do this, it might be more comfortable to reach those legs out just a little bit further, or you can keep them where they are. And on the next inhale, let's come back up to our tall torso, placing the bottoms of our feet on the mat, our knees in intensive position, we'll lay back onto our backs. Inhale the right knee to the chest. On the next breath, we'll reach the right leg up to the sky. And release the right ankle to the left knee. Inhale the left leg towards the chest. Release that left foot to the mat. Send the arms out to the sides. And on the exhale, drop the legs over to the left side. Inhale back to center. Release that right foot to the mat. And inhale, hug that left knee to the chest. On the next breath, we'll extend the left leg up towards the sky, holding behind the hamstring or the calf. And we'll release the left ankle to the right knee. Hug the right knee into the chest. And dropping the right foot to the mat, send the arms out to the sides. Drop the legs to the right as you look towards the left. Inhale back to center. Release that left foot back towards the mat. 
you're welcome to stay here or if you'd like to do a happy baby pose, we'll lift the legs holding the big toes. Reach those legs up to the sky. You're welcome to keep them however straight or bent you want. Maybe rock side to side. This will help open up the hips. And as you rock side to side, you get an additional little lumbar massage. If you want, you can stretch one leg up to the sky, bend the other, and maybe switch, stretching the other leg up to the sky. You can reach both legs up or bend both legs. As you bend your knees more and reach them closer to your mat, you'll get a deeper stretch in the hips. We'll be here for just a minute longer. So if you need to even out both those sides, now's the time to do it. We'll come to stillness and release those feet back to the mat. Let's bring the bottoms of our feet together and open up the knees in a cobbler's pose. Resting the hands by our sides, palms open towards the sky. If cobbler's pose is a super intense stretch for you, it might help to grab like a little pillow for underneath your knees, just for a little bit more support, or you're welcome to stay in a tented knee position as well. I'll just be here for about three minutes, probably two or three minutes. Just letting your body come to stillness and your mind come to stillness. Focusing on just one thing, maybe your breath or maybe your intention. And on the next breath, let's inhale those knees back together, back to our tented position. Hug the knees in towards the chest. And rock side to side. Maybe pick one side to rock over to and drop the knees. Walk yourself up to a seated position with your hands. Back to our easy seat. Let's inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale them the heart center. Thank you guys for practicing with me. Namaste. All right, I hope you all have a super great Monday and I'll see you back on Wednesday.